Hey guys, I'm sorry if I look a little bland right now, but I'm um, still getting over the cold. I'm still sick. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but yeah, I'm still sick. And um, I recorded this second video before already, but it wasn't coming out right and everything. So I'm re-recording and this video, in the last video I ended up with, um, I'm pretty sure I ended with the story within the story of fourth grade. And so with this video, I'm starting with the rest of my elementary. So um, as I stated before, I went to counseling during fifth grade at my school provided it. And sixth grade, I hit a depressive downfall again. Seventh grade, I was getting back now yeah i think i'm starting from seventh grade seventh grade i got better i was more i guess alive like i was actually living you know aside from like the petty you know elementary middle school drama like nothing serious i was i was okay i was fine eighth grade same thing i was okay Might as well just go into ninth grade year here in high school here since it's kind of all still in the same time period of my life so ninth grade year i decided to just go to all girls school and so i went to this all girls school in my town and it was it was cool i mean aside from like you know all girls school has a lot of drama a lot of fights and petty fights and everything but it was it was okay it was decent i was fine um I continued writing poetry. Poetry was really good for me. at That's the time, about ninth grade year, is when I really got deep into poetry because poetry was so therapeutic in a way. And um, so I really started writing poetry. And, but I was still kind of on the fence. I was still, it was like, I was in between depression and normal. That's how I could explain it. So some days I would be really, really low. I remember, in the mornings while I was waiting for my brother and my mom to come out, I would be the one to warm the car before um, she'd come out and bring us to school. So I'd be in the, I'd be in the car listening to um, music. It was Mary Mary. I used to like to listen to Mary Mary a lot. So I'd listen to music. I'd, um, and just like kind of just sit there in sadness. Like, I don't really know. Um, I don't I don't know what the cause was, but that that's kind of what I was going through in freshman year. I was very isolated too, but I still I still talked to people. I just kind of was closed off from people in um, freshman year. I just didn't really get that close to anyone. So that's freshman year, and um, towards the end of freshman year, I found out that my school was closing down because of funding and all that stuff because it was a Catholic school. And as with Catholic school, you have to pay tuition. I guess they didn't have good funding or something like that. So they were closing down. And so I wanted to go to this school called Hudson Catholic because it was so diverse and I just felt like I needed some diversity. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I just felt like I needed some diversity in my life, but my parents weren't with it. So they sent me to this school, this other school, this other Catholic school that my cousins were already attending. And I don't know if I should say the name because I'm just not going to say the name of the school. But I went to that other school, which anyone who went to high school with me knows what school it is. It was a co ed school. Um, I went in with an open mind. I was happy to be there. Not fully happy, like I still would have preferred Hudson Catholic, but um, I went to the school that I went to, open-minded. I was very willing to like just be friends with everyone and <laughs> just love everyone. I just wanted to share like my energy. I don't know, I kind of stepped out of the box. Like freshman year and um, in high school, I was very, very closely into myself. But sophomore year, I was, I was like over the depression a little bit. I was just normal again, finally. So I would try to talk to everyone, try to befriend everyone. It was just something that I like to do. I just wanted to share love. That's how I feel. But um, after sophomore year, junior year, I 
kind of hit a, another roadblock, I guess, in a way, or there's another attack of the enemy. I kind of had some bulimia, but it was short-lived. I wasn't medically diagnosed for depression or bulimia. I just, I just knew, like, it wasn't right. Like, I wasn't okay. But um, that was what happened. That's what was that. That was what I was going through junior year, just a little bit. It wasn't more... It wasn't mostly because of like body image. You know, people get bulimia mostly because they have body image issues. It was mostly, I don't know, it was just going down a spiral again. And I felt like the only way to relieve it was through like, you know, what bulimic, bulimic people do. And so I did that for a little bit. And um, three years also when I like, got closer to my most recent ex and we were friends we we're really good friends because we kind of dealt with similar s situations in a sense or we kind of just understood each other that way but um i remember one night just going into my bathroom and just crying just sitting there in the dark and just crying bawling out like i don't know why i just was feeling that way and that happened i remember that i remember another night like wanting to like kill myself but but not having the balls to do it i didn't have the balls to do it so I like i never did but i remember contacting him and he was helpful a lot so that's junior year junior year was over i mean going to school nobody really knew anything because i i'm a very closed person so i don't really like tell my issues <laughs> but i am now like i mentioned before so i'm kind of being really you know out and open so <laughs> senior year um senior i think was kind of i feel like it kind of molded me in a way to where i am now who i am now um Senior was kind of difficult because I came in sophomore year feeling like I wanted to like befriend everyone, <laughs> basically. But um, I made some mistakes, and there were a lot of things that were said about me that weren't true, reputa reputation wise. A lot of false things spread about me, and so I felt kind of betrayed by every by everyone that I felt would um, were my friends. It would know me so i kind of cut everyone off <laughs> senior year and i kind of developed some trust problems and which i'll get into and how that affected me in college kind of but um yeah that was basically senior year i freak i've forgiven everyone from senior year i stated this and um i'll state it again i stated this in the last video because this video i'm recording after I finish recording all videos. So I already stated this. I have no hard feelings towards you guys. So don't feel no type of way. <laughs> I'm just telling the story and it's, um, it, it took place. So I'm just saying it. And say anybody's names. Don't hate me. Like, uh, we're cool. But um, that's basically everything after eighth grade, after, after that incident that happened in my family that brought us to God. I remember senior year too, I used to always pray during um, like the times that I was down because of what was being said about me. I used to pray for all the people. I literally used to, and it, it took a lot out of me because, um, you know, it's not easy <laughs> doing that, but I did. And I still have resentment towards them, even though I tried, I, were, I was praying for them. I had a little bit of resentment, but it took a while, <laughs> but I don't have any resentment towards anyone anymore. And um, honestly, it was the help of God because, <laughs> because I used to be a very resentful person. I used to hold things for decades. I can't even say decades, I'm only 21 now. So for um, years, but I'm better now. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry, today's just been a weird day. I've just been laughing all day like. <laughs>
but um i'll see you guys in the next video and stay tuned thank you